The music is flowing here at the Queen City Elks Lodge on Benjamin Street. People are gathering to honor a beloved community member on what would have been his 100th birthday. Thank you, thank you. And welcome to the Winston Coleman Day celebration in the Winston Coleman Room. Inside the Floyd Winston Coleman Community Room at the Queen City Elks Lodge. People gathered to celebrate a man who spent most of his life giving back to his community. He was a very well-rounded person. He was um, very extraordinary. He believed in Elkton. Floyd Winston Coleman Jr. dedicated 74 years of service to the Elks. It's one of the largest and most active charitable organizations in the U.S. Happy Mr. Coleman Day! The Queen City Elks Lodge has been in Elmira for nearly 110 years. Floyd Coleman served in the U.S. Navy during World War II. After coming back home, he worked at Remington Rand for 26 years and another 15 years at the Elmira Psychiatric Center before retiring. He stayed active in retirement, dedicating his life to his family and to the Elks. At the age of 99, Coleman drove himself to the National Elks Convention in Baltimore, where he was recognized as the oldest active member. How would he react to people gathering for the band and to celebrate oh, his birthday? He would love, he would love this. <laughs> He was low because in the last function that we had with him here before he passed, he was trying to make it to this this day. Oh, well, he's an energetic man. He just, uh, he's up and going all the time. At, at 99 years old, he was up and moving, still driving and the whole nine. He's been from the bottom all the way to the top here at the Lodge. You know, exalted ruler, grand exalted ruler. He was the oldest member here. And, came to every meeting. I didn't know him very well, but I had known him throughout the years. We've spoken many times. He'd always shown an interest in my music. And in fact, the last time we played, he was urging me to get back into it. And as I am, here I am to celebrate that with him. Hey, oh, but I know his family and they're beautiful people. And uh, you know, I can't say nothing bad about him. He was the ultimate diplomat. He would work through it rather than worry about it. He, he meant a lot to this lodge. He put a lot of work in here. People know him now, and for I hope everybody will remember him years to come. At the Queen City Elks Lodge in Elmira, I'm Nick Dubina, 18 News. Blow it, boy, blow it.